I'm John Hanna for CDTV.net and we have Greg Womack, President of Womack Investment Advisors at Edmond, Oklahoma. Hi, Greg. Good morning, John. Good morning. Now, uh, we just heard the uh, uh, the sentencing for Bernie Madoff this morning. Um, what's your thought about it? Well, he got 150 years. I think uh, anything short of a death penalty uh, is probably appropriate. Uh, he, he, you know, robbed uh, thousands of investors and billions of dollars uh, from them, ruined their lives, and uh, has put uh, distrust even more so back in the markets and in and, and, and financial advisors in general. I know in our business we're going to see a lot more regulation come down the pike, you know, because of of his type of actions. So it's a terrible thing he's done, and, and, and um, I'm sure a life sentence uh, will, will fit the cause well. Um, you know, people just, you know, this is kind of an extreme, extreme case. Um, and it went on for so long. And, yeah. you know, my, my suggestion to people is that, you know, check your advisor out. Of course, background checks. He was actually a regulator at one point. Uh, knew how to break the rules and go around them, and uh, but the government did fail fail us in that area as far as the regulators should have picked up on that much much earlier. But do background checks on your advisor. Another issue of the Madoff deal is you know he custody all of his own assets. Uh, you know deal with an advisor that has custodies where you can get a, th- a third party reports from your your custodian that your assets are held at. So you're not only getting a report from the advisor, but also a report from your custodian uh, that has all the securities, investors protection, and fraud, uh, you know, insurance, that type of thing. Now, is there a, a, w- a website for people to go to to check their in, uh, advisors? Yeah, you can go to, to FINRA, F-I-N-R-A, and, and do a background check. Um, you know, ask ask your advisor uh, where are they custody assets. Are there third-party independent uh, reports or auditing that is done at least on an annual basis uh, that should pick up any clues or hints of fraud? Well, uh, on that note, uh, Mato did have uh, a third-party auditor. Is there a way to check on the auditors themselves as well? Yeah, you can definitely check on the auditors. You know, they and I believe uh, his CPA did have some. Uh, you know, they. I don't know if he's on his payroll or not, but he did have close ties with that CPA or accountant uh, who did did the audit. But having a a third-party auditing firm uh, that has no, um, you know, relationship other than that as far as, you know, independent. And um, and the key thing is is where the assets are custodied because that, you know, that will help pick up any paper trail or money trails that are going on. And like I said, you get a third-party report uh, from your custodian. Um, so that's very helpful. What, the, what some of the new regulations, John, they're kicking around now is that, the, um, that these investment advisors who do, who do have type, custody type over their client's assets, uh, they'll have to have uh, an independent auditing firm come in, a surprise visit, once a year, so that's being kicked around as a new, a new regulation, a new rule. Um, it's unfortunate. There's a lot of good investment advisors out there that are doing a great job for their clients, you know, right. irrespective of how the, the markets move. Um, but it, it, it's going to put more burden on those good advisors and just more co- more cost to do business. And that's unfortunate. You have that in almost any industry where you have one or two bad apples that just kind of run it for the whole thing. But Okay, so uh, let's just summarize this thing. Uh, check your investment advisor. Go to finra.org, F-I-N-R-A dot org. Ask your advisor, a third-party auditor, and get their information as well. And third, check where the assets are, custody of the assets. It has to be a third exactly. party as well. That's Greg Womack, president of Womack Investment Advisors at Edmond, Oklahoma.